Did you know that NIO was once hailed as the Tesla of China? It's a company that didn't just build electric vehicles, but aimed to redefine the entire EV market. Back in 2020, NIO was on the brink of bankruptcy, but with a lifeline from investors and the Chinese government, it made a stunning comeback, with its stock soaring to $62 by early 2021. Fast forward to today, and that same stock is trading at just a fraction of its peak, weighed down by macroeconomic pressures and fierce competition. Can NEO turn things around and rise back to the top? In this video, we'll talk about the rise, fall, and the potential future of NEO. NEO was founded in 2014 by William Lee, a Chinese entrepreneur with a vision to revolutionize the automotive industry. Lee, also known as Lee Bin, had already made a name for himself as the founder of Vitauto, an online car sales platform, before he turned his attention to electric vehicles. His goal with NEO was not just to build cars, but to create a lifestyle brand that would redefine the future of mobility. Under Lee's leadership, NEO quickly established itself as a serious contender in the EV market positioning itself as a premium brand with a focus on cutting-edge technology, luxury, and innovation. NEO's approach was different from other automakers. Lee envisioned a community-centric brand, complete with NEO houses, which were luxurious spaces where NEO owners could work, relax, and socialize. This focus on building a community around the brand was a key part of NEO's strategy to differentiate itself from competitors. One of NEO's most groundbreaking innovations was its battery swapping technology. Instead of relying solely on charging stations, NEO developed a network of battery swapping stations where drivers could quickly exchange a depleted battery for a fully charged one. This process took just a few minutes and offered a convenient alternative to traditional charging, which could take much longer. This technology was particularly appealing in China, where many urban residents live in apartments without easy access to home charging. NEO's battery swapping network grew rapidly. By 2021, NEO had established hundreds of these stations across China, which played a crucial role in attracting customers who were hesitant about the range and charging times of electric vehicles. The company also focused on building an extensive charging network, further solidifying its position as a leader in the Chinese EV market. NEO's early success was nothing short of remarkable. Despite being a relatively young company, NEO quickly gained a reputation for producing high-quality, innovative electric vehicles. The company's flagship models, the ES8 and ES6 SUVs, were well-received for their sleek design, advanced technology, and competitive pricing compared to international rivals like Tesla. The launch of these models helped NEO capture a significant share of the Chinese EV market, and by 2020, the company was being hailed as the Tesla of China. NEO's stock price reflected this optimism. After a difficult start following its IPO on the New York Stock Exchange in 2018, NEO's stock began to climb in 2020 as investors became increasingly confident in the company's prospects. The stock surged to an all-time high of $62.84 in February 2021, driven by strong delivery numbers, the promise of international expansion, and the overall excitement surrounding the electric vehicle industry. However, NEO's meteoric rise was followed by a series of challenges that would severely impact its fortunes. In early 2020, as the COVID-19 pandemic spread across the globe, NEO found itself in a precarious financial position. The company was burning through cash at a fast rate, and with the economic uncertainty caused by the pandemic, NEO was on the brink of bankruptcy. T. In response, NEO sought external funding and managed to secure crucial investments that would keep the company afloat. In April 2020, NEO received a lifeline from a group of strategic investors led by the municipal government of Hefei, who invested over $1 billion in the company. This bailout was a turning point for NEO I, allowing it to stabilize its operations and continue its ambitious plans. Despite this, NEO continued to face significant challenges. The global semiconductor shortage, which began in 2021, hit the automotive industry hard and NEO was no exception. The shortage forced NEO to scale back production, leading to delivery delays and frustrated customers. At the same time, competition in the Chinese EV market was intensifying, with domestic rivals like Xpeng and Li Auto, as well as international giants like Tesla, 
ramping up their efforts to capture market share. By 2024, the challenges had become even more pronounced. NEO's stock price had fallen more than 50% from its 2021 highs, reflecting the growing concerns among investors. The company's financials for the first quarter of 2024 were a stark reminder of its struggles. NEO reported a sharp decline in revenues, with vehicle sales down by 45.7% compared to the previous quarter. This drop was attributed to lower delivery volumes and a decrease in the average selling price of its vehicles due to increased promotions and a shift in product mix. In the midst of these struggles, NEO made a significant move by launching the ET7 at the Beijing Auto Show in April 2024, aiming to compete directly with high-end brands like the BMW 5 Series, Audi A6, and Mercedes E-Class. They also expanded their NOP Plus urban driving feature. Now, covering over 1.4 million kilometers across 726 Chinese cities, and used by more than 260,000 users. Further, NEO introduced Onvo, a new brand targeting the mainstream family car market, with its first model, the L60, set for delivery in September. To support these developments, NEO has been expanding its sales and service network, including 154 NEO houses and 2,472 power swap stations worldwide. Partnerships with major companies have also bolstered their battery swapping infrastructure, enhancing customer convenience. Internationally, NEO's expansion plans were dealt a severe challenge by the European Union's decision to impose steep tariffs on Chinese-made electric vehicles. These tariffs, introduced in 2024, were a response to what the EU saw as unfair subsidies provided by the Chinese government to its domestic EV manufacturers. The 37.6% countervailing duties on battery electric vehicles BEVs, imported from China put NEO at a significant disadvantage in one of its key growth markets. In addition to these external pressures, NEO was also grappling with internal challenges. The company's gross margins were under severe strain, and its net income had plummeted from $859.5 million in 2020 to nearly $3 billion in losses by 2024. These financial difficulties were exacerbated by the high costs associated with maintaining and expanding its battery swapping network, as well as ongoing investments in research and development. As of mid-2024, NEO is at a crossroads. The company's stock continues to struggle, and the lack of a clear catalyst for recovery makes the future uncertain. NEO's management remains committed to its long-term vision, focusing on expanding its product lineup and improving operational efficiency. However, the company faces an uphill battle as it tries to navigate the increasingly competitive and challenging EV market. For investors, the question of whether to invest in NEO is a difficult one. The company still has the potential for a turnaround, especially if it can successfully execute its mass market strategy and find ways to improve its margins. However, the risks are significant and the lack of immediate catalysts for a recovery means that NEO remains a speculative play. Do you think NEO can climb back to the top or is it facing too many obstacles to overcome? Let me know in the comments below and remember to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next deep dive into the companies shaping our world. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep questioning.